Okay, five students. This is Miss Claire, and welcome again in our Math Five class. In this video, we will continue our lesson for Chapter Twelve. So you will learn lesson three, multiplying a decimal number by a one-digit number, and lesson four, doubling and having. The learning objectives for this lesson are to multiply decimal with a one decimal place by a one digit whole number and to find doubles and halves of decimal. Okay, P5, are you ready to learn this new lesson? Come on, let's start. Okay, let's start with lesson three, multiplying by a one digit number. Okay, I have here an example. Let's multiply 0.4 by two. So, 0.4 means, times 2 means 2 sets of 0.4. So, 0.4 times 2 is 4 tenths times 2. So, 4 times 2 is 8 tenths and that is equal to 0.8. 8 tenths written in decimal is 0.8. Another, let's multiply 0 uh, 4.3 times 3. So it means 4.3 is 4 ones and 3 tenths. When we multiply by 3, we need 3 sets of 4.3. So when we multiply this one first, we can multiply first the tenths. So 3 tenths times 3, that is equal to 9 tenths. Second, or the step 2, let's multiply the 4, the 4 ones times 3. So 4 ones times 3 is equal to 12 ones. Therefore, our answer is 12.9. So children, the difference between multiplying whole numbers compared to decimal number is that we will use decimal point on our answer. Since our number 4.3, it has one decimal place from the decimal point, our product also should also has one decimal point. So the answer is 12.9. Another example, let's multiply 2.4 times 4. So it means we need four sets of 2.4. So step one, let's multiply first the ones or no, the tens. So 4 tenths times 4, that is 16 tenths. We can regroup the 16 tenths into 1 1 and 6 tenths. So we will put 1 1 here, the 1, and we put here our 6 tenths. Step 2, let's multiply the 1's, which is 2, times 4. So 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 here, and that is 9 1's. Don't forget our decimal point because we have one decimal place on 2.4. So we put our decimal point here. Therefore, 2.4 times 4 is equal to 9.6. Now I have here a problem. Let's solve it. The mass of a bag of potatoes is 4.5 kilogram. What is the total mass of nine such bags of potatoes? So 4.5 times 9. So 5 tenths times 9 is 45 tenths. So let's regroup the 40 tenths. That is 4 ones. So we put here on the top of 4. After that, let's multiply the 4 ones times 9. That is 36. Then we add 4 here. So that is 40. So our answer is 40. 0.5. Therefore, the total mass of nine such bags of potatoes is 40.5 kilogram. Okay, children, P5, please try to find the answer for this problem. Miss Ong used 2.3 meter of lace for a skirt. What was the total length of lace, lace used for five skirts? So, all you need to do is to multiply 2.3 meters times 5. Share your answers during our Zoom meeting. Now let's go to lesson 4. We have doubling and having. Do you remember our lesson for finding the doubles and halves of whole number? This is the same but in this case we have decimal point. 
Okay, let's review. Try to figure out if this series is correct. Is it correct? 42 double is 84, then 84 double is 168, and 168 the double is 326. Try to figure out. Okay, let's have an example. What is the double of 6.2? So 6.2 is 6 ones and 2 tenths. So when we see double, we will double the 6 ones and 2 tenths. So double 6 ones plus double 2 tenths. When we double, we just need another set, right? So how many ones now? Yes, we have 12 ones and 4 tenths. So our tenths becomes 4 here and this one 12. So 12 ones children is equal to 110 plus 2 ones. This is already 12, right? So that is 10 plus 2 plus 0 0.4 and the answer is 12.4. There is another way on finding the double, right? By simply adding them. 6.2 plus 6.2 and that is 12.4. Is there other way to find doubles? You can share that during our Zoom meeting. Another example. What is the double of 5.12? 5.12 means 5 ones, 1 tenth, this one, and 2 hundreds. So to find the double of that, let's just get another set of 5.12 and let's add them all together. So 5.12 is equal to 5 ones, 1 tenth, 2 hundreds. Let's double them. So let's double the 5 ones, that is 10 ones. The 1 tenth is 2 tenths, right? We have 2 tenths. And 400, this one. Let's add them. So 10 ones is actually 10. 2 tenths is 0 0.2 and 400 is 0 0.4. So our answer is 10.24. 0 0.2 plus 0 0.4 is 0 0.24. Now let's check whether our answer is correct by adding 5.12 plus 5.12. 2 plus 2 or 200 plus 200 is 400. 1 tenth and 1 tenth is 2 tenths and 5 plus 5 is 10. So 10.24. So our answer is correct. Now let's study about finding the half. So what is half of 4.6? We have 4.6 is 4 ones and 6 tenths. So if we will find the half, so we will find the half of four ones first. So what is the half of four? Let's see. So that is two ones. So two ones. And half of six tenths is we have three. So two ones plus three tenths is 2.3. Let's check. Let's add 2.3 plus 2.3 if the answer is 4.6, so our answer is correct. Yes, 3 tenths plus 3 tenths is 6 tenths and 2 plus 2 is 4, so our half is correct. Another example, P5, what is half of 14.24? We have 14 means 14 ones, then 0.24 means 2 tenths and 400. So we have 2 tenths and 400. If we want to find the half, let's simply put a line here. This one is already the half of 14.24 and that is equal to A. So half of 14 ones is actually 7 ones. This one, this is 7. Half of two tenths is one tenth. This one half is only one. And half of four hundreds is two hundreds. Seven ones is seven. One tenth is zero point one. Two hundreds is zero point zero two. So let's add first zero point one and zero point zero two. That is zero point twelve plus seven. That is seven point twelve. Let's add 7.12 by itself. And if the answer is 14.24, then our half is correct. So 2 plus 2, that is 4, 1 tenth, and 1 tenth is 2, and 7 and 7 is 14, and that is equal to 14.24.
So therefore, 7 to 12 is correct, the half of 14.24. So P5, that's how to find the doubles and halves of decimal numbers. If you have other ways to find the doubles and halves, you can share that during our Zoom meeting. Okay, P5, that's all about lesson 3, multiplying by a one-digit number, and lesson 4, doubling and having. I hope that you learn a lot in this video, and I will discuss more about this lesson. Thank you for watching P5, and always remember to stay safe and healthy. God bless everybody, and have a great day. Bye!